Let's talk about voiding versus deleting a check. First, deleting a check. QuickBooks allows us to enter a bill from a vendor, process a check, and pay that bill, and then come back in and delete the check. Obviously, this is not good. We're going to show you in a later video how to place controls on your QuickBooks software to eliminate the delete feature. However, sometimes deleting is the appropriate thing to do. First, let's talk about voiding checks. Let's come in here and change to the Banking Navigator, and let's come in and open the Write Checks window. Here, let's void this check to Dagle Lighting. Dagle Lighting called and said that they never received this check, even though we know we mailed it. So we're going to void this check, contact our bank and put a stop payment on it, and process a new check to Dagle Lighting. To void this check, come up here under the Edit Pulldown menu and choose Void Bill Payment dash check. Click on it and notice the QuickBooks right away changes the amount to zero. QuickBooks handles the behind the scenes accounting and reconciles our account and updates our bank balance. Let's look at this by coming into the register for our checking account. Here let's scroll up and locate the check to Daigle. Here you can see that it's now zero and QuickBooks says it was voided. Now let's talk about deleting a check. You want to delete a check in the following two scenarios. First, if the check is here in your QuickBooks system, but it was never actually written. And second, if you've actually paid the amount twice, and so you process the amount twice here or enter the amount through the Write Checks feature twice in QuickBooks, and so you need to remove one of them. So to delete a check, just simply come in here and click on it, come under Edit, and choose delete. Click on delete and click OK. And now that check has been completely removed from our QuickBooks system.